Steady from Kilimanjaro mountain. Wow. From Kilimanjaro mountain to the Indian Ocean is 400 kilometers. Pangani River started from Kilimanjaro mountain. From Kilimanjaro mountain to the Indian Ocean is 400 kilometers. Okay. So this you see is the uh, river, river wall. This is that uh, we're building it. Just a. Uh... <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Kef halekum. Kwema. Jina langu wemba imani. Leo mimi nipo mji wa pangani. Pangani ni mji mdogu karibu na jiji la tanga. Pangani ni mji muhimu sana katika historia ya Tanzania. Subiri kidogo. Utafurahi sana kujifunza wa kuhusu mji wa kale wa pangani. Taal taal. Tuendeni kujifunza mji wa pangani. Karibuni Tanzania. Karibuni Afrika ya mashariki. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani. And today I am in the town of Pangani, which is very close, around 45 kilometers from Tanga City. You will have an amazing documentary today as we tour and explore this historic Swahili town here in Tanzania. So if you're new to the channel, I'll appreciate it if you can consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Ready? Okay. Okay, my name is Kasim. Kasim. I do work in tour here in Pangani. Okay, Pangani town is a very historical town. It was called the Rapta. The name of Pangani before, it was called the Rapta. Rapta is means a trading center. Pangani, it was a trading center. Pangani town was ruled by Arabs from Omani, Saudi Arabia. It was 975 to 1889. From 1889 to 1916 was ruled by Germany. From 1916 to 1961 was ruled by British. Okay. We got independence 1961. When we got independence, Tanzania, it was called Tanganyika. Okay. And then when we joined Zanzibar 1964, and then came Tanzania. So we want to see how Arabs came in Pangani. Arabs came in Pangani by big boat, sailing boat. When they came, they stayed that village. It's called Bweni Village. Bweni Village. Bweni, Bweni Village. Okay. They stayed there for six months, waited for the windy. It's called Musuni Windy. Okay. When they are there, they did the butter trading. Butter trading it means exchange things to things. Okay. Things from uh, Saudi Arabia was spices, clothes, dates, and the bits for making jewelry. Okay. Yeah, and things from Pangani were mangrove trees, leopard skin, elephant tracks, and bark of trees. Those things from Pangani. Okay. So when the Arabs they came here, they didn't stay longer there. When they like in Pangani more, they moved from uh, uh, from that village to this site. Okay. So that the place which they're building their house. So also when Arabs they are here, it was no Kiswahili. Okay. Kiswahili is mixed languages. Okay. From local languages. We have 120 languages in Tanzania. Right. So they mix it and then came Kiswahili. You see? So and then also when Arabs they are here, they made the local people with mix. We have some not not all some mixed people. Okay. Because when they came, they came without women, so they made some local people in Pangani. Okay. Yeah, and uh, also, you know, Kiswahili started from here, from the coast area, and then grew up in the mainland. So all Tanzania, we speak Swahili, Kenya, Uganda, and Zaire, Congo. Okay. But the source of Swahili started in the coast and grew up. Okay, so the source of Swahili started on the coast. In the coast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you said the Arabs stayed over in this village yes, here. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when the Arabs came, they first came as traders. They, they came just as traders, and later time they do a uh, slave trading, which I go to tell you when you are on the walking tour. Sure. On the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so let's walk. 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 Yeah. Walk. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. From Kilimanjaro mountain. Wow. From Kilimanjaro mountain to the Indian Ocean is 400 kilometers. Pangani River started from Kilimanjaro mountain. From Kilimanjaro mountain to the Indian Ocean is 400 kilometers. Okay. So this you see is the uh, river, river wall. This is that uh, we're building it just uh, two years ago. Okay. And the old one over there was building by German, 1911. 
Okay. And material they used to building, it was no cement. Limestone, mud, and water. So that's how they build the houses? Limestone, mud, yes, and water? Yes, Okay. On, on that time, okay. it was no cement. Okay. Yeah, so they all, the, also the old build, I uh, mean, all the house they're building by, yeah, material, local materials. Local, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, like, uh, here, like, uh, the house, top the hill? Yeah. That is a hotel, it's called Machado Hotel. Machado Hotel. Machado Hotel. Wow. Yeah, but uh, before it was British District Commissioner, they were living over there. Okay. Yeah, but now it's just the hotel, it's called Machado Hotel, but it doesn't work because no business. No business. No so bis yeah, the they, they visitors, they like to live, to stay in the, I mean, in the, on the sea, like uh, in the beach. On the beach, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Look, look, I. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. Hi, <laughs> Nashi, then. Okay, yeah, so let's uh, walk. Okay. And if you have any question, be free to ask me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how many people live uh, on this side of the island? I mean, the old district is uh, 54,000. 54,000? 54, yeah, here is 9,000. Okay. There, uh, there is more than this side. This so Pangani, yeah. all the people, most of the people this side. Okay, so most people in Pangani live on this side. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And what's the name of this side? Uh, okay, this village is called Bweni. Bweni. But there's a Muela, there's Sakula, Mkwaja, Kipungwi. There's many villages. There's many villages. Many, many villages. Lovely. Until the Sadan National Park. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one one of the things you mentioned yeah. was that long ago mm. um, the Arabs came here, yes, yes. and you said there was a, a tribe that used to live here, the yeah, indigenous that, yeah, tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zigua. Who are the indigenous people of Pangani? Zigua. Before it was Zigua. Zigua. Yeah, Zigua. They are because when the Arabs came here, they met Zigua people. Zigua people. Yeah, okay. and they, you know. When the time going on, and then they mix it, you know, yeah. and then came, uh, you know, like I told you, with 120 languages. So they mix. Mixed. But the first people they met them here, the Arabs, they are Zigua. Zigua. Yeah. And yeah. W and where are like the Z Zigua people today? Uh, they are in uh, Handeni. Handeni. Yeah, Handeni is a district here for... Of Pangani. No, no. Pangani district is another district. Another district, another, okay. Another district. All there is Zigua. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. See? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now they're chilling, and later time they go to Zanzibar. Zanzibar. They transfer to Zanzibar. Oh. Transport, they they do transportation. To yeah. I mean like business. Business. They carry the stuff from Zanzibar to here. To here. Which I've got to tell you when. You, yeah. Sure. Yeah, so okay. Sure. Okay. So this building you see. Yes. It was building by Indian. As the Indian, you know, the Indian, they came the same time with the German. Right. But they just came for business, not administration. Okay. So when they when they came, they building this building here for them to make a small factory for make coconut oil. Coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and uh, I mean, we have a lot of coconut tree up the river. Yes. So they bring coconut here, and then they pay them. They make coconut oil. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it will stay as coconut oil until when we got independence. Yeah. So when we we got independence. Independence, the business went down, so the Indian they couldn't stay. They leave. They left. Yeah, they left. They went to Tanga, to the big city, Tanga, Alusha, Mwanza, Dalesam. So nowadays the building is like this. Okay. No, yeah, no one to take care of it. Okay. And you know the coconut oil is good for skin, cooking, and other stuff. You know, putting the hair. Yeah. But now the building is like this okay yeah. so this was uh, this was just mainly a factory or yeah yeah a factory. yeah factory for the coconut, coconut oil. oil yeah okay oil, yeah. that's easy so the 
this is new stuff. New stuff, okay. Is this like someone's home? Yeah, it's someone's home, but someone um, just for holiday. For holiday? Yeah. So like a holiday yeah, home? Yeah, holiday home. Oh, wow. Okay, he, he's living in Tanga, so he come maybe uh, two times per month. Per month? Yeah. And is it a Tanzanian? Tanzanian. Yes. Okay. Tanzanian. Yeah, he's a... Uh, he's born here. It's not really Tanzanian because it's mixed. It's mixed. It's mixed, yeah. Okay. Tanzania and Arab. Arab, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the first mosque in Pangani. This is the first, the mosque. first mosque in Pangani. Wow. It was building 1810. 1810. By one Arab, it was called Salim Abdak. Okay. Yeah, so it is still using from 1810 up now. On that time, it was no speaker, no speaker. Okay. And uh, also, this, you see the ties. Okay. It was no ties. Okay. And, uh, it was no the window like those, the glass window. Yeah. Yeah, it was like like that place. Okay. Yeah, but the first mosque in Pangani. You know the coast area, more Muslim. Seventy-five percent Muslim and twenty-five percent Christian. Christian. Okay. But we live very friendly, no problems at okay. all. Okay. Yeah, in the mainland more Christian, but in the coast area more Muslim. Muslim. Yes. And do Christian and Muslims marry each other in the coastal region? Yeah, we do. Although it's a little bit hard. Sometimes, you know, the other uh, parents, they make a little bit problem, but it's not really, okay. you know, it's really hard. You, you can, yeah, because, but uh, when you met one, they can change to Muslim or Christian. Or oh, Christian, yeah, okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, also they do in the government, like uh, made in the government. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't, no one changed. Okay. So this. Okay, so this building you see, it was building by German as the German custom house. German custom. custom house. Okay. It was building 1881. Yeah. So it is still using as a bandali, as a port until now. Okay. Yeah, but the people who was building they are German. Okay. Yeah. So it is still using until now for you know for store the stuff from Zanzibar okay. to here okay. and then you have to pay, you know, to pay tax. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you pay the tax here and then you take your stuff. Okay. Yeah. But so so this building is mainly used for like storage? You say, yeah, no, I mean pay tax. To pay tax? Pay tax. Okay. Yeah, and if you are not yet pay, they keep the store. I they get stuff. you. Yeah. Okay. Store. Okay, all right. Yeah. And uh, so this boat you see, yeah, they came from Zanzibar. Zanzibar. They bring cargo. Right. Like he used clothes. Okay. Used fridge. Okay. Oil. Okay. Milk powder. And other stuff from, I mean, overseas to Zanzibar, to Zanzibar to here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they do trading business. So they go from here to Zanzibar. It's like a, a eight hours. Eight because hours. They, yeah, they use windy, you know. Right. If no wind, they, they use the engine. Engine. Yeah. But also we have uh, the speedboat. Two hours from here to Zanzibar. So with the speedboat, it's two hours. Two hours. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's a uh, yeah from Zanzibar to here is ninety kilometers. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far, but not too it's, far. yeah, they use windy. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask? You know, yep. like for someone who visit Pangan, yeah, if they would like to visit Zanzibar, yeah, how much does it cost? Ah, uh, okay. If the what we do for the local people, if you are local, mm -hmm. you pay uh, forty thousand. Tanzanian, Tanzanian shillings. shillings. Okay. But uh, and local pay twenty dollar. Twenty dollars, sometimes twenty five dollars. But normally it's twenty dollar. Okay. You get there to Zanzibar. Yeah, to Zanzibar. And would you take a speedboat? Speedboat, speedboat, not this. This is cargo. This is cargo. We don't arrange. We arrange the speedboat. Okay. Yeah, which you use uh, uh, what is called like like that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, Fiber. 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 Fiber boat. Okay. Fiber yeah. boat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, this is the wood boat. Yeah. yeah. Before we use, but now we have fiber boat. Fiber boat. Yeah, we have fiber boat. And these are like the real traditional Jad, yeah. Swahili boats. Yes. Is it like ja, ja, Jahazi? Jahazi. It's Jahazi. Yeah, it's Jahazi. Jahazi, Jahazi. Jahazi. in the Swahili. Yeah, Swahili. Okay. It's Jahazi. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. And do they build these boats in Pangani as well, or they build uh, them in Zanzibar? They, they're building Zanzibar, some, but all this is Zanzibar. 
But before it was a small factory over there for okay. building this, but now it's off. So now they only science park. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so this building is it's, it's not building, but before it was a big building here. Okay. It was slave depot. Slave depot? depot slave depot. Wow. Yeah, slave depot. And uh, also, yeah, you know, the people who did the slave trading, the Arabs. Okay. When they came here, they pretend that they came for business. Okay. Like changing the stuff. And le later time, they went to the chief, you see? And told the chief that we need your people to work with us. So the chief, they say, oh, this is good things to offer our people. They can get the opportunity to, you know, to have a job. So they gave them. And then the Arabs, they collect the slave, the, the, those people, you know. And they, they, I mean, the chief, they didn't know that they become slave. Oh, wow. So they, they collect them. Okay. They put them, they bring them here. And then they send them to Zanzibar. Zanzibar to Arabs country. Right. So and then later, Arabs, they came themselves. We thought the other, they sought the people which they took, they collect. So when they came here, they went to the chief again. They told the chief, we need your people again. So later time, the chief, they say, this is not a good job because we lost our people. So they stopped the business. You know, so when they stopped, the Arabs, they went by gun to collect them. Okay. So when they coach, they put them on the chain. Chains, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they were collect them. It's not in the coast area, in the mainland. Main. Out, like. out, out of the... Like uh, yeah, um, Congo, Mwanza, Mwanza, Congo, and other kind, other places. So they walked by foot from there wow. to here. Okay. Others they pass to Bagamoyo. Others they put they pass here. Okay. You see. So after before passing here, they put them to the slave depot, and then they early in the morning they took them by boat to Zanzibar, Zanzibar to Arab country. So the people who stopped the slave trading when German came. They start to stop slowly. 1880, yeah, 18, 1889, you know, they just start to stop. That's when it started to stop. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so let me just get get it right. So yeah. you're saying that when when the Arabs came, yeah. First time, yes. They were just acting like we want your people to help us yes. to give them a yes, job. Yes, yes. But they were behind their backs. They were yeah. actually putting them in yeah. slavery. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they just say you know, you know, you need your people. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how how big was this? Um, it was system? bigger than this one. Okay. Very bigger. From here. From here. Behind, it's bigger, bigger. It's two times bigger. Or, or two times and a half. Okay. From this. From this building. And it was a big hole. You saw, you yeah. see? So those big holes, I mean like a big um, uh, valanda, you see? That valanda is special for, you know, for the Arabs, like to make a party or to see how the babies stay inside, okay. you know? So they do, they, you know, they um, embarrassing the the people, okay. you know? They make them nick, nick it, naked, see, uh, you know, it was very horrible. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. did yeah. they like, um, Sleep with the women? Yeah, they do. They do. They yeah, do. they do. They do. If they liked one, they took. You know, it was. You know, yeah. That's how they did. Yeah. Okay. Bad. And what they did, the men who send them to Arab's country. I mean, the slave. Yeah. You know, or they just cut them off. Not make sex. You know. Wow. Yeah. So they removed their genitals yeah. of the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the wall, eh, you know, we are strong. Yeah. In, uh, Handsome. Yeah, yeah. So the wall, our, our, I mean the generation, I mean there are women that yeah. can fall in love with, with, with us, the men. You see? Right. So they say it's bad stuff. So they just that's why there's no more, you know, I mean a slave who was more many from Arabs they came from they are not a slave, they came for business. Yeah, yeah. Or for working. But that time they just cut them off. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, oh, that's a very interesting um, history there. So they removed the genital yeah, areas yeah. of the men. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. This boat, when they go back, when they bring cargo, cargo. they carry this. They carry the, they carry the timber, they carry charcoal, they carry oranges, mango, they carry more stuff from here okay. to Zanzibar. Okay. Yeah. So uh, are these woods coming from Zanzibar? No, no. These woods come from this side. From this side. This side. Okay. Those those uh, dao, 
when they, they when they come from Zanzibar, they bring used clothes, used clothes, used clothing. They yeah. use used fridge. They use, they carry most stuff from overseas, overseas to Zanzibar, to Zanzibar to here. Okay. And then when they go back, they carry this stuff, timber, wood. They carry charcoal. They carry uh, tomatoes. They carry most stuff from here, and they also check food, tea, you know, all stuff from here too. To, to Zanzibar, yeah. okay. This is another mosque. Another mosque? In Pangani, we have for 2022. It's not all Pangani, just here in, here in town. 20 or 22 mosques. Okay. And the church, we have like six or seven. Okay. Yeah, just here in town. Okay, yeah. so uh, the the majority of people in Pangani, are they Muslims? Muslims, 75% Muslim 75. and 25% Christian. Okay. But we live very friendly, no problems. Problems. Yeah, we live like one family. And do anyone still practice like traditional religion, like from long time ago? Uh, in the villages. In the villages? Yeah, on the villages. Okay. But, uh, when the Arabs came, you know, and the Christian, I mean, the European people, they changed it. They change everything. Yeah, yeah, they change everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they no 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 more yeah. Tradition. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's stand up there. Uh -huh. So this ground you see, it was a slave market. Oh wow. And they the name of Pangani came from this ground because the slave they arranged into the group to the owners. Arrange in Swahili means panga, panga, panga. Oh. To do a action of arranging means pangeni, pangeni. So the local people they miss to say pangeni. They say pangani. Okay. And then it came pangani. Okay. Because for arranging. 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 And it's from arranging the slaves or yes. kidnap people. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, and then came pangani. Okay. So uh the slave they arranged into the group to the owners so arabs they see who's very strong slave the place came up the weakness place came down and the slave dealers slave dealers they are living of that place this building here yes it's easy for them to see how the business is going on you see it was like a guest house okay. for them okay yeah to see how the business is going on okay yeah so after that yeah, like I told you, before it was the Raptor and then came Pangani because they served the arranged into the group of the owners here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after after when we got independence, we changed this place from the slave to Pang uh, meaning the independence ground. Okay. Yeah, now it's called independence ground. It's called independence, independence ground, ground now. Ground. This means uh Kiwanja Chauhulu in Swahili. Okay. Yeah. So if one someone is saying, oh, take me to Kiwanja Choho, they bring you here. Bring here. Yeah. And the one you see, the one building you see, no roof, mm -hmm. that's na, na, before it was British Cinema Hall. Okay. British Cinema Hall. Cinema Hall. It was building 1950. 1950. So it was stay at Cinema Hall until when we got independence. 19, when it, sorry, when we start to have a TV, television, and then we stop the cinema. So now there is no cinema there. Okay. Only there is a carpenter and there is a, someone has a shop there. Okay. No cinema at all. Okay. At all. Yeah. Are we going to walk that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go like this. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So this was actually a slave, slave ground. Yeah, slave ground. This is historical here. Wow. And it's very interesting how they build the house yeah. because it's, it's, so, it's like you said, they can see everything what's yeah, happening yeah, on the ground, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Everything can be seen from on top there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you know, it was a big, uh, I mean, a fighting between uh, Germany and Arabs. Okay. So the last leader of uh, German, uh, last leader for uh, Arab, he was called Bushiri. Bushiri. Who was hanged by. You see here? That's a picture of him here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. He said he was hanged. Hunt by uh, Arab. Uh, sorry, by 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 German. By German. Yeah, by German. The, you see the men. Yeah. We uh, on the fifteenth of the twelfth, yeah. eighteen eighty nine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So was he like uh, a very big uh, local leader here? Uh, this is uh, Arab. It's a mix. Arab. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a leader of Arab. Of Arab, Arab. people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And did the local people like him here? Like the locals? Uh, Bushiri. Yeah, Bushiri. Um, the local people. Not really. You know, he was leader of Arab, but not really. The locals. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because you know, the people who did the slave trading, yeah. no one liked. Okay. Yeah, no one like because to oh, just a moment. Okay, sure. So we got independence this time. December 9, 1961. Okay, so Tanzanian gained independence December 9, 1961? Yes. Okay. Yes. On that time it was called the Tanganyika, not Tanzania. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we written here Kiwanja Chauhuru. Kiwanja yeah. wa Chauhuru. 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 Yes, yeah, in the ground of independence. Ground. Uh, Kiwanja is ground. Ground. Cha is, is off. Uhuru is means independence. Independence. independence yeah. okay. So now how I take you, I take you to show you the Indian street. Okay. Although there's no Indian, just to show you the Indian street. And then we go this around, and then you can see the, I mean, the British cinema hall. We come across there. This is a mosque as yes. well? Okay. Yes. And this is madrasa. A madrasa. madrasa. Okay. So you know since there's so uh, so much uh, Muslims in this area yep and um, like the Quran and yep. the prayers are in Arabic yep do people speak Arabic here uh, no they don't they, they, don't, they, they don't. don't speak here because uh, you know it was more local and uh, more Swahili okay I yeah, know one they maybe the old 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 people they speak but not all just few few words few words yes few oh, words okay yeah, yeah. so like the mostly like the leaders who spoke arabic like the arabs yeah leaders yeah. the leaders they speak and also the people who practice you know islamic like the the madrasa people they do they do they do yeah okay. yeah yeah like there's one there is called uh, there's one in mosque there there's a school all the kids they speak arab Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and the, the local kids? Uh, local kids, no. Only if you go street, I mean, for school, mm -hmm. you can speak. Okay. Yeah, there is, if you join with those school there, you can. You can speak. You can speak, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this you see is Indian Street. Indian Street. You see, and you, you can see the time which they're building, 1910. 1910. Yes, yeah, so it was a very busy place for business. You know, Indian, they like upstairs they live, down they do business. Okay. So it was clothes, it was a shopping, shopping center. Right. Yeah, it was very, very busy. But nowadays, after when we got independence, the business went down. So, I mean, it's not like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, the Indian, they start to move. Okay. Yeah. So, so Zamani, uh, like in the past, yeah. many uh, Indians lived here? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All this, the, so all, all this the straight for them, they live in, all Bill. Indian. Okay. Yeah. And did they intermarry with the local people or they kept to themselves? They kept to themselves. Okay. Yeah, the Indian, they are very, I mean, you know, they are just like themselves. Themselves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they they they, they go to out, but when they met, yeah, they are, like, I think there's like some rule. Okay. Yeah, it's like Chinese when they go somewhere, mm -hmm. they can go with other people, but when they met, they met themselves. They marry amongst yeah. their own yeah. people. Yeah, own people. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. 
So this here would have been like a supermarket. Yeah, yeah, supermarket. All this. All this street. It's not, all, it's not all, only this. All this street. All this street. All oh, shop, shop, shop. Your bicycle. Wow. Uh, clothes and uh, different, different things. Mm. Yeah. So when did business kind of, you know, go slow for them? You say around 20 years ago? Yes, 20 years ago. Okay. Yeah, 20 years ago. 20 or 30. 30 years yeah, ago, yeah. 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 So did they all leave or some remained? Hmm? Did most of them leave or did some remain as well? Did some Indians still live here? Uh, no, 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 no. All them, they leave. Oh, all, all left? All leave. All wow. Leave. All leave. No one, no one stayed. Yeah, no one stayed. Yeah. Okay. So we have for them swimming machine now yeah yeah no shops only swimming machine oh so so this tree has a lot of tailors now yes tailors tailors, tailors okay tailors okay now we call when you take Taylor street taylor um, street yeah. okay so if you're ever in pangani you can come to taylor street yes, yes. <laughs> and get something yeah, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Yeah, ah, yeah. vamos a vivir. Fue mal. Ah, papita. I can see the designs of the building, they maintain the colonial look, yeah, like yeah, German, yeah, Indian, it's yeah, a mixture of the yeah, yeah. look of the building. Yeah. Oh, this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And here the end of uh, the Indian street. End of, okay. Yeah. And so, do you know that tree there? The Neem tree. The Neem tree, you yes. Know it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. But you can tell me a little bit about the Neem tree, yeah, for those who may not know. Do you want to go there or is here? It's yeah, fine. yeah, it's fine. Okay, okay. That's Neem tree. It's a medicine tree. It's cure 40 disease. Malaria, cholera, diarrhea, and a problem with the stomach, problem with the skin, problem with the teeth. Okay. So how you, may, how you do it to, to become a medicine? You take the, the leaves of a uh, neem tree, you burn them, you make tea. Okay. So uh, you drink two times per day for four days or five days, and then malaria, cholera, diarrhea to be gone. Okay, so if someone gets malaria, yeah. they can just drink it as a tea twice yeah, a day yeah, yeah. and it goes away. Yeah, it goes away. And also if we have a problem with the stomach also, the same thing okay. you do. And a problem with the skin, you bath and you drink. Okay. So your skin comes good. And if you have a problem with your teeth, you take patch of trees, you brush it and then your teeth come good. But the original came from India. Originally from yeah, India? Yeah, from India. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let me just show you how what the neem tree looks like. So you can see he's saying that it's of course good to cure malaria, different skin problems, over 40 diseases is good for and this is what the neem tree looks like. It's growing here in abundance. So this is the melon, Tanga. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this road leads to Tanga? Yeah, I know. Yeah, this, yeah, to Tanga. Okay. Yeah, this is, you know, the, the, the ferry, so it goes straight. Okay. This way, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ready? No, no, market, no marketing because you have been there already. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Yeah. You know, we, 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 could, we could visit the market still. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, you yeah, I don't yeah. mind. We could, we could visit it. Yeah. Because yeah. that's not, uh, like I told you, it's not easy. 
history just yeah local vibe yeah. just to get an, yeah. for the people to get an yeah. idea of what it's like yeah yeah sure yeah this is that's it Yeah, that's easy. I think you know this for yeah? No, what tree is this? Muhogo we call it Kiswahili. Kasava. Kasava tree. Okay. Mohogo. Yeah. And um, could you just t t tell us how you'll eat the cassava okay. here? Cassava here, you can use like a vegetable. Okay. You see, you take this and then you, you do like this and then you cook. Okay. You mix with other stuff. Even you, if you just, you can just shrug, sh what's called? Pound. Yeah, do like this. Yeah. Let it to be like powder. Powder. Yeah, and then you, you cook them. Okay. And uh, uh, inside the roots, the roots, it's a. Uh, I mean uh, cassava. Cassava. Cassava, yeah, uh, yeah, inside. And like a lot of people, they roast the yeah, cassava. Yeah, a lot of people they eat cassava. Okay. In Pandani, yeah, yeah, it's like a meal. A, a they do meal. They do yeah uh, in the morning also lunch dinner. Okay. To depend, yeah. Okay. So you can fry it. You can uh, boil them. Boil. Yeah. Great. Salam alaikum. So these houses here, are yeah. they like, um, were built during the German times? No, 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 this is not German time. This is like, I mean, not, not 50 years. Okay. Others, they are 50, others, they are maybe 70 years. Yeah. They are not too old. Okay. Yeah. It's just, you know, in the coast area, more uh, salt. Yeah. Making it be old. Okay. And uh, the people, you know, they have no enough money to finish. And yeah. That's why you see it's not look like finished. Oh, I get yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, they save the money yeah. when they start to build. You know, they save the money slowly. Mm -hmm. When they get money to building, and then they say, "Oh, we start to building." They they use very powerful. Okay. And then when they finish, they have no capital. Wow. <laughs> the capital is gone. Yeah. So what they do? They stay there without finishing. Okay, so yeah. that's why some of the houses they yeah. look like they're not finished yeah, because yeah. the money ran yeah, out. Yeah, ran out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You said the Germans used to live here as well. Yes, the Germans. Oh, there. Uh, um, how long did they stay? When did they actually leave Pangani? Was it during uh, independence? No, no. The Germans they live around the, when we got in. I mean, uh, when the British came here in 1916 on right. the first war, okay. the war, yeah, and then yeah, they they live. They left. Yeah, because they okay, they start to live here 1889. Okay. Until 1916. 16. So after that, the British. The British came. Until 19, uh, 1916 up to 1961, British, and then Tanzania. Okay. Yeah. So you know, during the time when the Germans were here, yeah, did they teach the people how to speak German? Uh, not really. Not, not really. really. Not so really. So they kind of kept their language to themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are barely, barely. I mean, now no one speaking. Oh. Only the one who walk maybe inside, they can hear what they say, you know. But uh, not not in the I mean the local people. Not the local no, people. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, sir, come on.
Gaza bibi. Safi kwema. Safi kabisa wa. Brother, brother, yes. could you just uh, tell us a little bit about this market in ah. terms of like when it was built and how long it's been here? Ah, okay, so this is our market. It was building during when we got independence. Independence. So this is uh, just for Pangani market. Okay. Yeah, so it's a daily market. Yeah, everyday market. So this is like the main market in Pangani? Yes, this is the main market in Pangani. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Salam alaikum. So all this stuff you see, so others, most of them come from out of Pangani. Oh, these are not grown in Pangani? No, not grown in Pangani. Some, um, I mean, potatoes, very few, not not much, but all we from other districts. Other districts, okay. Baba, baba. I think you know everything here. Yeah, yeah. Bamiya. Bamiya. You know. Okros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then is this Sukuma Wiki? Uh, no, no, no. This is not uh, spinach. Oh, this is spinach? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, Salam alaikum. So this is a local market guys. It's not that big in comparison to the others we've been to, but this is like the main market here in Pangani. Butcher, butcher, uh, cow. cow, cow, cow meat. Okay, so is it mainly in Gombe or Ngombe. you have uh, other meats? Yeah, yes, uh, only 
ngombe only 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 cow only cow yeah yeah okay we have for no more butcher for goats or yeah only 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 cows only cows yeah, yeah. okay so this area only cows meat okay and we have for uh, fish shop also okay Oh, I'm the number one.